This morning there was 17 vehicles. Yes. Left Shelbyville. I counted them. But the devastation up there, it, this is just one of them. And we've got more and more pictures that shows things that's going on up there. I mean, the, it's terrible. And Jerry, you know, the, the biggest thing of it, you know, you, we see these bigger towns, but you just figure them little small old towns that's back off. There, the there, there's one little town up there, McNichol, and I was talking that it, it's gone. Yeah. I mean, it, it's completely gone. And, but here's bridges knocked out, the, where you can't get from one area to another. Yeah. They were bringing in portable bridges. Uh, it, it's just, it's just something that you look at and, and you wonder how that could ever happen. The first thing I wondered when I saw all this was what would happen if the dam at Tim's Ford broke. Yeah. And I, I believe I'm right when I say this, the water would go towards Bedville then because they're lower than we are here in Coffin County. But just what would happen to the people in the, it, I don't know, it, this is, it's so shocking. But I do want to say this, everybody is quick to point a finger at the walking horse industry anything that's negative and i want to tell everybody that's watching this video you see what's going on up there it's terrible but in the last 11 days the walking horse industry without anybody saying hey do this took it upon their self. You, you're right. Now they are sending food for cattle, horses, dogs, cats, and people. Sending different equipment like that up there to help clean up. Well, I always say this, this walking on the industry is just like everything else. I mean, we have our differences in between each other, but when it comes ball down to it at the end, all of us stick together and try to help each other and try to help people outside the industry that needs stuff like that. You know, you just look at all the charities that you had at these horse shows. You just look at all this stuff going on right here. I mean, it is people, I mean, over at Lane Leverett Barn over there, I mean, every day he was, oh, I see them on there with Amy Campbell and Julie Lambert and all them on there, you know, getting stuff. People, cars were lined up all down the road, dropping stuff off at their place, semi trucks where they loading up, you know, I mean, it's, well, the walking horse yeah, industry, I, just, they're un, it's unreal how these people will get together and, and, and they don't, it, it's kind of like it, it's a magnet. They mention that, hey, we need help, we need this, we need that. And then all these people come together and go to up there like that. I know that uh, Perry Walden, He's already gone up there twice. Uh, they was carrying such a heavy load that he blew out two of his tires. Yeah. Uh, but he, it, it's just amazing how these people bond and do what they're doing. Yeah, but the thing of it is, you know, one day you have everything and then you look up the next day by a storm and you wipe out. And you, and you don't have nothing. All your memories, all your clothes, your food, some of your family members is, is gone. Well, I know I talked to Jamie Hillis and he told me, he's, I told him, I said, well, I said, I'm, I'm dealing with things here. It's hard for me to get up there. And he told me, he said, Jerry said, you don't want to see this. I have seen devastation before, but it's just like this right here. I watched this morning as 17 vehicles left out and they was carrying everything from cookers. Yes. Now this right here is Jamie Lawrence. They're leaving out from down there. I had his daughter send this to me. But I want, I want the public to know that the walking horse industry, y'all can say what you want to, but these people, are here to help. Yes. 
and they will bond, they will battle, they will, if somebody needs it, they'll find a way to get it. Amy Campbell. Perry Walden says she's the bomb, man. Says she gets She is. She's and she does. She She worked her she worked her tail off on getting all this stuff. I mean, every time you look up, I mean no, she was getting people out there to just say, come and help us separate, do whatever you want, want to. to. That's right. Give whatever help you can. And through through my lifetime, I've seen some situations that were very bad. But like Jamie Hill has said, said, Jerry said, some of this up here, he said, I'll remember it for the rest of my life. Yeah. And it, but these guys, I'm going to tell you, and I, I've got a list of them. It's just a bunch of super, super people. And they roll. Perry Walden, Lane Leverett, Jamie Hillis, Jamie Lawrence. This is just a, here's a short list of some of the people that are helping. Clay and Casey Sanderson, Joseph Abernathy, Dickie Garner, Dan Waddell, Robert Mims, and, and his wife, Amanda Warren Mims, which is his wife. <laughs> Tanner Burks, Whitley Green Burks, Ronnie Reed, Eddie Johnson, Jeff Green, Brad Beard, Frankie Rourke, Jada Plemond Calloway, Amy Cal Campbell, Julie Graham, Alan Price, Kayla Balcom, Kelly Duchelle, Chris Helton, Jeff Green, Brandon Tate, Ronnie Reed, Edgar and Crystal Abernathy, in the List goes on and on um, and on. Lori Toon took a big load out there this morning. His semi truck, Dick Peebles did, left this morning. Yep. Well, yep. well Dick volunteered his vehicles yeah. and everything, and, and we know Dick ain't in the best of health himself. Yeah. But the people that join together and and are doing this, 17 vehicles this morning, and I mean it, it's it's unreal what this industry accomplishes in such a short time because it's been a steady roll of vehicles going yes and and different people volunteering churches they got different locations lane leverage was one of them where they was loading up out on 64 there's another location out there i see Edgar Abbott at the stables they did yep. a bunch of stuff out there well they came up the other morning they left from uh Mississippi coming, they're going to come through Shelbyville and going up to East Tennessee. But these guys, you see someone in the walking horse industry, it'd be nice if you just say thank you. Yeah. If nothing else, just say thank you for what you're doing. And I mean, you just imagine some of these people. You take Justin Janae. I see them. They had a crew of people going up there with the horses yep. and, and trying to help find bodies that was out there. You know, and I mean that's that takes a, a big heart to do that to just to load up and and do stuff. It. I'm gonna tell you, Jerry. It's a it's a sad thing that this happened. It's a great thing of how people responded to it. Yes. And we're talking about people down here. I mean, we're not facing anything like that. But they are loading up and going up there. They're taking everything from hay, horse feed, dog feed, cat food, uh, round bales. Steve Hawkersmith and Pam Hawkersmith, they, they, uh, and their brother and sister. They, yeah. uh, I talked to Steve. There's where Perry's tires blew out. But they they ended up getting a finding a transport to take hay up there. Ronnie Tabor, yeah, he, he took a bunch up there. Uh, and I, I it, it's hard to mention all of them. It is, and it's like I say, it's it's hard. But it's the, I feel for the people that was involved in the devastation that happened to them, their family, because you know. Right now, they probably got people out there that don't even know where their mom and dad or cousins and brothers or whatever at right now, and still looking for them. Or would you ever As find you can them. see, 
I'm just anybody. There's Ronnie can Tabor now this. trying to figure out a way to get that hay off the truck. Ten times in so North Carolina. Hook it to yeah. Nobody can pull it off. Get it off. I figured the collection center could have or whatever. And finally, it's they were sending cow feed. This is a friend of mine. Hay, you know, for the cows. And yes. Stuff. It. it I don't know. I, I, it makes you wonder. There, there's Perry. Yep. Jamie. That Jamie Hill is there, ain't it? Mm-hmm. But here's a group. Frankie Rourke. He's out there. I mean, it's his... They backpacking in, into yes. the, some of the areas. I watched the video of a young lady walking up the road and she's videoing she said i'm just going to get back here and, and see how bad it's hurt what all the damage is and she got back in there to where her house was and it wasn't there so I that's mean, some of the things you face but i know uh joseph abernathy he uh he went up there and he, he said i got the horses i got the time I'm putting everything on hold and I'm going to help these people. Yeah. And that's uh that's a super good thing. It makes me proud to be a member of the walking horse industry. I can me tell too. you that. You know, as long as they had danger, you put you, they put NASEP in danger of going up them them uh -huh. hills and stuff like that on horses, you don't ever know what you come across. Well, you slides or whatever, you know. So that's I mean fine. That's, That's when you the, say you putting your life ahead of somebody else's and you helping them yeah. out. It all, I'm going to tell you, it just, uh, I'm just proud. I'm proud of these guys. I'm, I'm proud of the ladies, the, everybody. Y'all deserve a big pat on the back because I'm going it, to, it's just a bunch of super, super good people.